What's up guys, Derek here, and of course, we got Tony. How you doing, Tony? Good to see you, good to see you. So today we got a event that we're gonna be going to today. We got a bunch of products already uh, loaded up in the trailer. Um, we're going to Mustangs at Daytona, um, and we're gonna be here for the rest of the week. We're probably gonna do some dino days here at the shop as well. So let's go check up on Vinny, see what he's... What's up, man? What you doing? Detailing. What are you doing? Getting the car all ready for the show? Getting it ready. Making it ready. Getting it ready. Looking all clean. Sweating balls. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot out today. It's like maybe 150 degrees today. But no problem. We got this. By the way. So our are status. <laughs> talk about heat. I buffed the whole trailer yesterday. Um, took all of like, I think five, six hours. Looking clean though, looking real good. Nice. All right guys, we're on the way. We got the trailer, we got the truck, we got the other car in the trailer, and we got a bunch of products ready to go. What do you think? And we got Tony too, you can't forget Tony. Oh yeah, we got Tony in the back. He's a little dissembled right now, but uh, he had a little spill and his back broke and everything, but he'll be all right. All right guys, so we're out here. We've got Tony here, we got some fuel. Just brought some bare necessities here for the show. So, let's check it out. All right, guys, so I got the man, the legend, the one that started this whole group, and I got Jeff right here. How What's going doing? on? So, kind of explain to everybody what you got going on. So, it's Mustangs of Daytona. We uh, put this show together for Mustang people all over, and uh, we built this premise on a family-oriented event. So. You know, we basically put all these events together during this week, uh, pretty much all in the evening, so people can come down on vacation with their families during the day. You know, we wanted Daytona to, it's a perfect venue, perfect location, sun, fun, sand, the beach, and it's a perfect destination. They host, you know, bike week and turkey rod run and Jeep Fest. They have, this is a car place, so, when we when we put this show together we said what better place than daytona yeah i agree absolutely agree we have some nice weather we got some good music playing yeah. and uh let's go check out some of the cars too awesome you having a good time tony I think it might be a Tesla in here. <laughs> How many smiles per gallon does this thing get? Oh man, like 20,000. Perfect. <laughs> All right, man. All right, buddy. So what's up, man? I got my buddy Dante here. This is a car we actually did a lot of work on. So, so how do you like it so far, man? I love it, man. It feels like a brand new car. 
and uh, you could definitely tell the difference. I mean, it did a great job, man. So what we did was a, an 1819 intake manifold. We did a JLT cold air intake. We did a MBRP um, cat back on it as well. We also did a tune in house and, uh, and actually picked up 39 wheel horsepower difference just with the intake um, manifold, exhaust, and tune. And uh, I think we might have a satisfied customer. What do you think? Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> awesome, dude. What in tarnation do we got here? So right here we have a 2013 F-150 5.0. Um, so pretty much the only difference between an F-150 and a Mustang like motor is the compressor ratio and the cams for the most part. I know that there's many differences, but that's like the main thing. Um, so on here we threw on an 1819 intake manifold. We did that. Very common swap, make some good yeah. power. Gained like 25 on NA, we did the comparison. Yeah, that's um, what I get on most of my applications on, on uh, like older S550, like Gen 2 motors. Mm -hmm. It's like 25 to 30 wheel difference. Right, right, right. So we did that, um, and then we did full exhaust. We got the BBK ceramic coated headers. Full exhaust to Corsa Extremes. Can't see, but right. <laughs> swap like, problems. Yeah, right? um, as far you as have like, now all the S550 problems of putting headers on now? Yeah. It's, <laughs> well, it's a good thing we did the headers and the oil pump gears. We did it when it was out of mm -hmm. the uh, like the motor and, or the uh, body and everything, so it's so easy to just... Yeah, that's if I had if I had a choice, that would yeah. exactly how it would be done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what um, Nick was the guy who threw everything in. Mm -hmm. um, he just he was like, dude, you're gonna regret it later. Just put the headers in now. You'll just get it over with. <laughs> Damn, I think I'm done long run. So we, so so tell everybody too. This is definitely not the motor it's supposed to be in here. Nope, not at so all. this is supposed to have a three valve, and it's got a yote with what's what's this? Uh oh, what, what do we got here? Is this a, we got a little something, something right here. That, uh, P1 Pro Charger. We have the upgraded pulley. It's not the 435. It's the 39. So instead of running 7 or 8 pounds, it's running 10 to 11. Okay. But I ran 11 this morning. That's just a really fancy alternator, right? Right. That's what I've been telling people. <laughs> okay, cool. Do you have anything like done to the suspension? or? So it's lowered on iBox Sport Lines. I got a pan hard bar, upper and lower control arms. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do shocks and struts eventually. I'm probably going to end up doing that next. And that's for as far as suspension and everything. That's pretty. What wheels are those? These are the downforce wheels. Yeah. I really like them. Yeah. The um the fronts, like you're supposed to get the eight and a half in the front. Mm -hmm. Typically, do the staggered ten and a half, ten and a half or something in the back, and then it's eight and a half in the front. Right. I did ten, all the way around. Nice. Just because I wanted the deep in the front, because if you did the eight and a half, it would be like flat almost. Yeah, we're 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 in the fence right now because our, our shop car, our S five fifties, has the the nineteen by eight in the front and then nineteen by ten and a half in the rear, and we're we're switching out because you can't really get you know uh, the 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 R triple eights yeah. and an eight. So yeah, that, we, exactly. Yeah. That's our. That, I mean, that's our plan. But yeah. <clears throat> I knew that was a common issue. But car looks good, man. And hey. oh, what's your name for everybody? If you guys don't know, it's Jonathan Harder, and this is my Coyote Swap build. And I, I know you got a, a YouTube channel, so I'll, I'll post a link. Just Jonathan Harder is my name, but it's spelled a little bit different than other Jonathans out there. It's with an H, but it's Jonathan Harder. All right, so that wraps it up. Uh, we're loading the car right now in the trailer, and. Um, that's it for this event, but tomorrow night we're gonna to be at the track and I'm gonna get some video of that, so we'll see you tomorrow.